Aloha everyone and welcome to the Lani Estates update for June 27th, 2018. Tonight with the update I'm going to introduce a new map. It's actually a composite map uh, between the thermal imaging and the lava flow outlines. I think you'll find it pretty cool and I'll, I'll use that to explain what's currently happening today. I'll start by explaining uh, the different colors on the map and uh, what we're looking at. Okay, first is the base map. Uh, which is the standard map I usually show to flow to show flow activity. On top of that is um, screened in the uh, composite from the thermal map. Uh, and what we're looking at is the area shaded in black is uh, the area that was thermally imaged by the uh, uh, the military or the county or or whatever agency it was that did it. Uh, I then took that and. Uh, imposed it on top of the the base map okay so now the uh, area shaded in black if we look at that and uh, we, we see a couple colors we see the, the the pink and then we see the darker red uh, the darker red it is still warm um, however the the light pink is is the hottest and uh, so basically it goes from dark red to uh, white uh, white being the hottest so if you look at certain areas of the flow channel you, you see that it's pretty bright and, and in other areas uh, it's a little bit more pink um, that flows all the way down uh, the channel out to the ocean and you can even see the the uh, pink uh, edges on the flow that's showing that uh, that's where lava is, is spreading around you know where, where the edges are the hottest uh, it's one of the ways that they they can see uh, where outbreaks or which you know direction the uh, lava is uh, expanding. All right, so with that said, let's move on to the basic update. For the past 24 hours, the eruption in the lower east rift zone has continued with no significant change. Uh, fountains from Fissure 8's spatter cone continue to supply lava to the open channel with occasional uh, small, short-lived overflows. Uh, small overflows on both sides of the upslope portion of the channel occurred shortly after midnight, June 27th. None of these overflows extended past the existing flow field. The spatter cone is now 180 feet tall, or 54.8 meters in height, at its highest point, and fountains are only occasionally rising above that point. Lava is entering the sea. Uh, this morning on the southern side of the entry area primarily through the open channel uh, but as long but as excuse me but also along a one kilometer or 0 0.6 mile wide area uh, the morning overflight revealed that the northern margin of the flow field at the coast is oozing fresh lava at several points in the area of uh, Kapoho beach lots the cracks on Highway 130 still remain unchanged uh, in width, temperature, and the gas emissions are also unchanged. Air quality in Upper Leilani today was on the poorer side. Uh, the fog wasn't very bad. I mean, it was very, very light haze. However, there, there was the smell of uh, sulfur dioxide in the air, not very strong. Uh, according to the uh, air sensors by the EPA, the one located on Leilani and uh, Capono Street area uh, has been down most of the day. The last reading was for June 27, 2018 at 1.57 a.m. and it was reading 0 0.063 uh, parts per million for sulfur dioxide and 0 parts per million for hydrogen sulfide. The sensor at Leilani and Highway 130 uh, was reading at on June 27th, 9.58 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time, zero parts per million for both sulfur dioxide and zero parts per million for hydrogen sulfide. Up at the Kilauea Volcano Summit at 10.41 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time on June 26, after approximately 25 hours of elevated seismicity, a collapse explosion occurred at the summit producing the ash pour steam plume that rose less than 1,000 feet above the ground surface before drifting to the southwest. The energy released by the event was equivalent to a magnitude 5.4 earthquake. Seismicity dropped abruptly from a height of 25 to 35 earthquakes per hour. 
prior to the collapse explosion down to 10 or fewer earthquakes per hour afterwards. Within four hours, seismicity began to creep up again, averaging about 25 earthquakes per hour by daybreak June 27th. Inward slumping of the rim and walls of Halima'u'ma'u continues in response to ongoing subsidence at the summit. And I'd like to quickly mention something I forgot. Uh, Fissure 22 does seem to be uh, a little active in showing small flows. Uh, that's being shown on the thermal imaging map as well. Uh, and well, that pretty much does it for all the, the general activity and, and update information uh, for today. Um, before I go, though, I do want to uh, mention uh, something that a commenter had asked about, and that's the Helena slump. Here is a quick little outline I made based on information that I was able to uh, find about the, the Helena slump uh, from USGS and, and a few other sources. Uh, this outline, you know, isn't necessarily 100% accurate. It's just an approximation of the general area that's defined as part of the Lena Slump region. Um, basically, what I know about it is uh, the, the the rumor, and and of course the 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 sensationalism is that the Lena Slump is going to break off suddenly and catastrophically, slide into the ocean, and create a huge tsunami that's going to wipe out the 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 uh, west coast of the, the mainland. So could this actually happen? Absolutely possible. Absolutely 100% possible. However, it is highly, and I do mean highly, improbable. And, and the reason being is that uh, this area actually sits on what's called a, from what I understand, a bench. And based on USGS information, information from the University of Hawaii and, and some other uh, what I would consider credible sources, uh, basically state that uh, this is just another feature of the active geology here on the island that this area is is actually moving towards the ocean yes uh, however it is doing it slowly uh, that rate can be anywhere between you know a, a half inch to a couple inches a year um, occasionally though if there's a, a big quake or shift in in you know the land you know in response to a quake or an eruption uh, then it can you know move you know a foot or so um, but the the odds of it actually shifting and sliding off in the ocean suddenly and com totally uh, are highly improbable if if anything it would break off in tiny little pieces you know and, and fall off gradually uh, if it was to happen in any you know time scale that that would be considered sudden all right now for the disclaimer I'm not a geologist I'm not a volcanologist uh, this is just, you know, my comprehension of the material that I've looked up, read, and, and attempted to understand. And uh, so, yeah, so it, it should, you know, people be terrified and running for the hills? Uh, no. Um, should should we watch it for, for any, you know, abnormal, you know, things that we wouldn't expect? Absolutely. Especially during a, an event that's creating, you know, uh, earthquakes and you know, cracks and stuff like that. It's definitely a place to be watching, and I, I can pretty much guarantee that the uh, Hawaii uh, Volcano Observatory people are, are watching it. It's just they haven't seen anything uh, of any significance that would be considered out of the normal, so there's, there's nothing to talk about. And if there is something to talk about, oh, I'm sure they will. Okay, with all that said, I'm going to wrap up this update. Um, remember to check me out on uh, my Redbubble where you can find t-shirts, phone cases, um, all kinds of other you know, great things uh, with my uh, photographies of both this event and, and you know, uh, pretty much everything else I've, I've been doing uh, available. Also, you can find me on doinghawaii.smugmug.com if you, uh, I've got a larger selection of photos available there because, you know, it's mostly just, you know, focusing on print, so things work there pretty good. However, there's, if there's anything there you see that you'd like over on, uh, Redbubble so you can get on a t-shirt or, or a phone case or something like that, you know, just, you know, leave me a comment and, and I'll see what I can do about getting it up there. And, of course, if you want to share your photos and, and things with me, you can follow me on Twitter at, at uh, twitter.com slash doinghawaii. Um, all that information, of course, will be in the uh, description with all the links and, and all that. So, okay, guys, uh, that does it for tonight. Uh, thank you for listening. And this has been the Leilani Estates Update for June 27th, 2018.